go have money. How about a month now? You're American. What on earth are you doing in this shithole? You get like you belong to clubs in London. I bet you're a great dancer. I don't like dancing. What about restaurants? You like food? I know some great places. You should come visit. I'll take you somewhere really nice. Spend a few bucks. Let's pick this up later. You, made man. I think my lighter must have fallen out of my pocket in the car. Could you be a darling and go and have a look? Gentlemen, he gave me his coat and all. Rosie, you need to forget about Patrick. No good's gonna come of it. Stick to your own kind. You mean like Chris? He treated me like shit. any extra fuses. Ethel looked everywhere. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. No power, no portrait. Oh, Madame Carlyle will be furious. Uh, she expects the family photo to be done any moment now. I need to be out, okay? And I need it to be perfect. Can't we just take a fuse from another fuse box? Uh, I, I guess we could do that. Good. I'll finish setting up, and then we'll grab the fuse just before you call down the family. You are standing very close to me, sir. Please back up a little. How are you doing, Patrick? Can't wait for this weekend to end. You know, you're witnessing something quite special. Your grandmother putting on such a show. How exciting. Wish I didn't have to perform. It's such a joke with the whole fake funeral tomorrow. It is, isn't it? It won't last, though. My mother will have things back in order in no time. And that's what she does. Create precise order in all her affairs, never letting coincidence touch her. Right ahead, please. Edward, you can't let mother get to you like this. I'm the youngest. Guess I just flew under the radar when it came. I expect you to be quick about the shoot. I have a lot to do today. Everything is set up and ready to go.
That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carla this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. Hey, bus boy, what are you up to? Are you listening to me? Makes me so angry. What is it? Elaine's she's how are things coming along in Hey, inside? stop right there. Is everything ready for tomorrow? In my own time, Gregory. I'll wait till everybody is here. Right, let's get started. I want to keep this short. I know you have a lot of questions. Some I will answer now. The rest will have to wait. First, Zachary's sudden death is a great tragedy, but also a great inconvenience, as it happened just now. I'm dealing with the situation in a discreet and efficient way, and I expect your cooperation in all related matters. Secondly, the arranged funeral event tomorrow will take place as planned. No one can know that I am still alive. I expect you all to act your part. Last, as you all know, I have a lot on my plate and need to focus on sorting everything out, so please do not disturb me with your petty concerns. You are all adults, and as part of the elite, you will eventually have to deal with difficult situations like this. It comes late for most of you, but this is a chance for you to show what you are made of. That will be all. What an exit. Old bag's got style. Show what you're made of. <laughs> Edward, <laughs> this is your chance. Oh, God. I have to finish that eulogy.
You know, I told Patrick off. I'm not interested in someone who bosses you around like that. Didn't you say something about a shake before? What was he like? Did you fall for one of his beautiful daughters? Don Yates, Alexa Carlyle here. You need to explain yourself. Mother, I want to know what is going on. Not now, Rebecca. I thought I made that clear. Yes, yes, yes. now. Get on with your work. Something's really wrong. I started digging and I can see that a lot of our mandates are void. Financial decisions revoked and a freeze on Rebecca. The... And then you give me that token for the vault in London. But only one of two. You need to explain. The token for the bank vault is just a contingency measure. I doubt you'll need it. Christ, Mother, that's exactly what I mean. Could you be more cryptic? I am working very hard to figure everything out. I need you to back off and trust that I'm in control. I have contingency plans and will make sure that you get information, useful, factual information, when I have it. But for now, I need time to focus. <laughs> Business as usual, then. You are cold, Mother. And alone. By choice. Don Yates, Alexa Carlyle here. You need to explain yourself. I demand that you return my call ASAP. Sending a junior attorney is gross negligence of your responsibilities and will have consequences for your company and you personally as well. I will make sure of that. Mark my words. Gregory. Well, it shows you're only human, after all. I never would have guessed.
That's Madame Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards.